So this is my uh, little multi-brain test platform. Uh, I'll point out the uh, key features here. Uh, I've got the uh, Pololu Baby Orangutan uh, microcontroller. There's an accelerometer here. Um, there. Uh, heading LED. Darlington driver. Another Darlington driver. Uh, two motors. Nice big battery, so that lasts a long time for testing purposes. Uh, receiver and this big black blob is just a counterweight to keep the thing kind of kind of uh, balanced. Uh, I'll point out that there's two motors here, not one. Uh, as you may have read, this does work just fine with one motor. If I were to eliminate uh, one motor and Darlington driver, everything would still work just fine. Uh, also, just note that I really highly recommend uh, building a small test platform like this if you're going to try taking on uh, developing a multi-brain robot. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff that can go wrong, and it's really better to have it go wrong on something small like this. So I've got the robot in the arena. I'm going to give you a quick drive demo uh, before I show you how to configure things. So this is how things are supposed to work when they're working correctly. Uh, quick look at my remote setup here. Uh, basically, this is my control stick. So forward, back, uh, right, left, dyslexic. I gotta think about that for a second. Uh, and this is the throttle. So basically, uh, it's pretty straightforward. This guy controls the direction uh, and the translation of the robot. This guy controls the speed of the robot. So you can see the tracking is pretty good. Um, the light is a solid light right now. That means I'm under 50% throttle. Uh, if I increase the throttle, uh, the light will pulse. You might not be able to see that in the video. Uh, but basically, it increases the robot speed. However, translation gets slower. So right now, uh, again, I'm about 50% throttle. You can see it drives around pretty nicely, a pretty reasonable translation speed. Uh, if I go to full throttle, um, it drives a bit slower. And you may find that depending on your robot design itself, it may not translate well at all at full throttle. I really recommend keeping it at about half throttle. You get a good combination of speed uh, and drivability. Uh, so um, again, I'm basically just driving this like a normal robot. Uh, right now, uh, my, uh, my hand is totally off the, uh, the control stick. I'm moving it uh, right now, left now. See that rotates around. Uh, and I'm going to go forward. And uh, backward also works just like a normal robot. Uh, and again, just making a throttle adjustment, taking the speed up. Uh, note the tracking stays pretty good. Uh, this one tends, this particular build of the robot tends to wobble a little bit. Um, there's all sorts of little funny physics phenomena that seems to go on. Uh, so if you're trying to build something, um, play around until it works. Okay, so now we're going to try to cover uh, calibrating the robot. Uh, so let's just say I built my test platform here, uploaded the code, uh, took a, a guess at what I thought the right accelerometer value should be, and I put that in the code. Um, and I go ahead and spin it up. And I don't know how visible this is in the video, but right now I'm getting actually like three different little heading pulses. And obviously that's not right. So I'm going to spin it back down. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hold the control stick down for about one second. And hopefully what will happen here is we'll now get a little pulsing flash in the LED. So it's not flashing quick anymore. It's flashing a little bit slower. Uh, and that indicates that the robot uh, is in uh, uh, configuration mode. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up, bring the throttle up just a little bit, just the point where it starts spinning. Um, and that puts it in the first of a number of different configuration modes. Uh, and this is uh, the, the tracking calibration. Uh, so since it, I'm getting multiple streaks, it actually means the robot is uh, tracking, quote, too fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the stick to the right. Is that right? No, I'm going to move the stick to the left. Once again, moving the stick to the left to slow the tracking down. And hopefully it will happen here. There we go. So now I'm getting one streak. And note that the LED changes to being pulsed when I'm actually changing stuff. So here I'm changing it. And note how it pulses when I change it. Uh, so that's tracking pretty well now. Uh, so I'm going to bring the throttle back down. So I, I think we got the tracking pretty good there. And I'm going to, again, move the control stick down for about one second. And that should go back to the fast flash now. Good. 
and uh, hopefully our tracking set up. So I'm going to go ahead and try driving now in normal mode uh, with the corrected tracking. So as you can see, uh, it's tracking about right, a little bit wobbly. Um, it's tracking about right, but it's not really driving at the right angle. It's almost like driving at a 90 degree angle. Uh, so uh, we can fix that too. Let's spin it back down. And I put it back in config mode. And uh, I'm going to bring it all the way back to full throttle. And uh, full throttle in config mode is actually normal drive. By the way, when you're in config mode, the actual throttle is always locked 50%. So I'm just kind of noting what's going on here. And it looks to me like the heading LED is to the right of where I want it to be. So now I'm going to bring the throttle back down just a little bit to the point where the LED is flashing. So it's kind of streaking. You can't probably can't see it in the video, but it's there. So since the LED is to the right of where I want it to be, I'm going to move the stick to the left. So I'm going to do that for like maybe a second or two. And uh, now I'm going to go back to full throttle and uh, see how it is. So I might have gone too far. I think I, think I want to move the LED to the right now. Uh, did I get that right? Yeah, I'm going to move the LED to the right. I think it gets too far to the left. So I'm going to bring it back down once again. And I'm going to move to the right this time just a little bit. I'm going to bring it back up. Oh, hey, look at that. That's starting to look pretty good. Not quite perfect. No, it's pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to bring it all the way back down. And I'm again going to move the control stick down while it's not spun up. Uh, and that's going to take it back out of configuration mode. That's important because it saves the settings. And uh, let's try spinning it up and driving in normal mode now. So uh, yeah, this looks this looks pretty good. Maybe not perfect, but uh, a little scraping there. That's that's not the uh, system. That's that's the physics of the robot. Um, so this looks pretty good. So I'm going to show you guys one more feature here. Um, spin all the way up. Keep going as fast as I can, just for fun. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it down. And let's say I want to find out how fast that was actually going. Um, I'm going to move the camera so you can see the LED better. Um, so if I move the control stick up while it's not spinning, it'll actually flash out in counts of 100 uh, what the top speed was. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. looks like 15, so it's 1500 RPM.